Hello and welcome to Scatterbolt TV and today I'm going to show you guys the best possible gaming PC you can build for $600 for 2017 featuring the brand new AMD Ryzen 5 chipset. However, before I begin, I just like to say that this is a PC build guide. It's not going to be featuring the actual PC in it. However, this video is based upon my three plus years of PC build guides I've been producing for the channel, as well as my own personal PC building experiences with my own budget gaming PCs I've produced in the past. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys what parts I chose, why I chose them, and why this is such a tremendous and very valuable and yet still quite quick gaming PC for your money for 600 bucks. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the PC build guide. But real quick, some quick announcements for the channel. Number one being, hey guys, Mark here. Now I was just filming a video just now, but I want to give a huge shout out to my Discord server right here. This is actually the official Skyrim Discord server, as you can see right here. This was open to my notification squad when I hit 100k, but however, this is coming from them, but we need a lot more people to join right now for this Discord server. So for right now, for the next uh, five hours, there's going to be a link in the description down below that allow you guys to join this really awesome server. It's got tons of text channels for like, you know, tech support, PC build recommendations, a lot of other cool things. So join, because we seriously need more people. But yeah, and number two, for all of you guys who stuck it through my month of absence from YouTube, I'm going to be giving away a mechanical gaming keyboard and mouse from G Skill. And in order to enter this giveaway, all you need to do is like this video, make sure you subscribe, be sure to click on post notifications and comment down below so I can choose a winner. And upon choosing a winner, you have to show verification for all four of these steps through some screenshots. So be sure you do all of them. And in that case, you'll win this awesome combination, which I've reviewed in the past and it's quite good so just a little quick update and enjoy the video so starting off this build for the processor I'm going with the AMD Ryzen 5 1400 quad core processor for 160 bucks so the funny thing is right now for 160 bucks this AMD processor completely slaughters i3s especially the high-end ones for the same price and to be fair this is kind of like a little wake-up call on AMD's end as they're going to eventually release their AMD Ryzen 3 series of CPUs which is going to target that hundred dollar price range and that's only going to make these budget PC builds even better but aside from that this is a quad core processor with eight threads that runs to 3.2 gigahertz that can turbo boost up to 3.4 gigahertz and is overclockable so I'd say for 160 bucks you're getting quite the good gaming deal out of this gaming CPU as well as a really awesome editing CPU if you wanted to do any sort of editing in addition to your gaming for like a YouTube channel or doing any streaming next up we have the ASRock 350M HDV motherboard this is one of their low-end AMD 4 plus motherboards and Despite it for being a low-end cheap motherboard, I've actually used some really cost-effective ASRock motherboards in the past, just like the one I used for this upcoming PC project. I used one of the cheapest Intel motherboards offered from ASRock for the Cappy Lake S platform, and it worked perfectly fine. It didn't have any problems, so I feel pretty confident in choosing this motherboard for this gaming PC build. And regardless, don't feel guilty about getting this motherboard. It's not like getting a more expensive motherboard is going to make you gain an extra 10 FPS in game. Your motherboard isn't going to dictate how much FPS you get in your games. That is simply down to the CPU and GPU. But regardless, this should be a pretty good motherboard. Next up, we have the G Skill NT 8GB series of RAM, which is a dual channel kit. And all this is running at 2400 megahertz. And pretty much, I should stop right there. It does the job. And I mean, it's a RAM kit. You don't need to go crazy overkill on the RAM. If you're going to get 16 gigabytes, then that means you're really gonna have to take your editing seriously if you're gonna be a serious editor or producer in the future. And even myself, I'm still on eight gigabytes of RAM on my system and it's been perfectly fine for my gaming as well as my editing. So eight gigabytes of RAM should be perfectly fine for the $600 system. Now for the storage, we're going with a single one terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive. And I mean, there's not much to say about this. It's a one terabyte hard drive. It'll do the job. It's always been reliable ever since I've been putting it into my PC builds. However, if you do want to make the jump to an SSD with similar storage, but much faster speed, I would take a look at the Corsair Force LE 480 gigabyte SSD that, that is $100 more expensive, but you're going to be getting twice the speed. So if you want something more than just a hard drive in this build, then check out that SSD. But it'll bring the total price of this PC to 700 bucks. Now for the GPU, we're going to be going with a three gigabyte 
GTX 1060 from EVGA. Now this is the bread and butter of a gaming PC. This is where all of your FPS really matters because this is the card that's going to be putting out those graphical settings that you're going to be running all your games on. But anyways, this is a 3GB card, and for the most part, if you're going to be sticking it to 1080p gaming, then this card should be perfectly fine. Don't feel pressured to step up to like a 1070 or anything more than that. The 1060 has shown to be perfectly great in 1080p gaming, and the only exceptions where it kind of stumbles a little bit are on those very, very high-end games that are extremely graphically intensive, meant for high-end systems like Deus Ex Human Revolution, or just those really unoptimized games that run pretty poorly like Arch Survival. But for the most part, you shouldn't need any more than a 1060 if you're just gonna stick it to 1080p resolution. And I swear, don't get anything more than a 1060 or you're basically just wasting your money. But anyways, that's what we're choosing for the graphics card. Now for the case, and I say this is a pretty good part for this PC, we're going with the Zalman R1 ATX Mid Tower. Now, when thinking of these budget PC builds, you're probably really tight on a budget and you don't wanna spend much more on the PC itself. So with this case in mind, I was thinking that I wanted something that had some pre-installed fans on it, but more than just one, like with what most cases come with. But luckily with the Zalman case, it comes with three pre-installed fans, which is a great thing to see as that'll give you some pretty good airflow right out of the box and you won't need to buy any more fans I'd say for a while but aside from that it's got the looks it's got the functionality and it's got the airflow for under 50 bucks so I'd say it's gonna be a pretty good looking case for this $600 PC now finally for the power supply we're going with the EVGA 430 watt 80 plus power supply I've used this power supply a lot in the past for my budget builds just like this one which is an upcoming project on the channel and I mean it's shown great reliability and good power and good rating and everything like that. I mean, it's a power supply. It's just gonna turn on the system and turn it off. There's not much more to it. But with this one specific, it's a cheap price. It does the job and it has enough wattage for the system. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this $600 gaming PC build video. Make sure to like, favorite, subscribe and all that. And this is the Scatterville TV channel, signing out.